Hello there, my name is Doug Hills and I'd like to welcome you to Clip Studio Paint 101. This course is intended to get users comfortable with working with the program. Now you may be brand new to Clip Studio Paint or maybe to creating art on a computer in general. And so my ultimate goal for this course is to help you take those first steps into this digital world. There's admittedly a lot to this program. I have had users come up to me and say they were so overwhelmed by the program that they didn't know where to begin and just ultimately gave up on trying. So what I want to do with this course is focus on the essentials. These are what I consider to be the tools and functions and other features of Clip Studio Paint that are essential to create a comic or any other piece of art in the program, but more importantly, build that knowledge foundation that you can then build upon as you become more comfortable with the program and you start to explore other aspects of what Clip Studio Paint can do. There are two different versions of the program, Clip Studio Paint Pro and Clip Studio Paint EX. Now, while EX has a few additional features, the core functionality of the two programs are the same, meaning it doesn't matter which version you have, you can create the same kind of art. So I'm going to focus on the tools and functions in Clip Studio Paint that are common to both Pro and EX. Now throughout this video series, I'm going to explain how to install and register your copy of Clip Studio Paint. I'll provide an overview of Clip Studio Paint's workspace. Then we'll create a brand new page and explain how to adjust its size if needed. We'll import an external image onto the page. I'll explain how layers work. We'll work with Clip Studio Paint's ruler tool. We'll create layouts and roughs using the pencil and eraser and selection tools. We'll create line art with the frame and pen tools. We'll add some screen tones and we'll even add some color. We'll add dialogue with the text and word balloon tools. And finally, we'll export and print our completed page. Now, I've found that the best way to explain how Clip Studio Paint works is through application. So through this course, I will go through my process of creating a comic book page and show you how I use Clip Studio Paint to produce my artwork from beginning to end. I'm really excited about talking about this program with you, and I hope that you will enjoy this journey. Now, let's go learn a bit about Clip Studio Paint. <laughs> 